Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie uh, a streamer called the Phil's Wizard. Uh, it's kind of, um, I couldn't call it unusual, but we don't often see the color combination of black, white, and red being used in a fly. So it's a fairly simple color scheme. Uh, as I say, I, I don't think I've ever fished black, red, and white. So it'd be something to give a try, that's for sure. It might be an effective steelhead pattern for all that, uh, you know, thinking about it. And it's probably good steelhead colors. So anyway, let's get in tying the uh, Phil's Wizard and see what the materials are like. We're going to start with a, a Mustad uh, size 4 streamer hook, uh, 2 extra heavy, 5 extra long. The tail and the throat is going to be a, a red saddle. And try to get a sort of a darker red with this one. We're going to use a size 14 uh, uni mylar. We're going to use the silver side. The body is black chenille. And the uh, wing is white bucktail. Plus, we'll be using some jungle cock for the cheeks. So let's get going. Now, because this has got a chenille body, we don't have to worry about being fancy. Bring that back to the hook point. Grab a good chunk of red saddle. You want a nice thick tail. There we go. Now we put in our rib. And our chenille. So as I've mentioned before, when you've got a bump created by where you tie in the tail and the rest of the materials, and you're tying on chenille, make the first few wraps tight. And then as you come off the bump, back off. And what that does is it uh, eliminates the bump. You can't really see a bump in the uh, chenille when you're finished. Now, always with chenille, leave yourself a bit of room at the head. You don't want to crowd the head too much. Now we'll counterwind our rib and just check your tail to make sure it's staying put. It doesn't hurt to put a turn at the back, not too tight. We don't want to dislodge the tail and then come forward. Now I've stacked the bucktail, and this uh, wing is not going to be much longer than the hook. Now, you notice one of the consequences of using chenille, it creates a step, and when you put a wing against it, it pops the wing up. Now, if you were really worried about that, I'm not going to do it on this particular fly, but if you're really worried about that, what, what you could do is expand your head and bring it up onto the chenille like that. And that will force it down onto the chenille and flatten the wing. Uh, that's not how this pattern is tied, so I'm not going to do it. But if you were concerned about that, and I particularly don't like having my wings kicked up at a too sharp an angle, uh, I would do that if this was my fly to go fishing. I would flatten that wing and get it close to the body. Okay, so now for the throat. Again, we're using some red. I'm going to use a red saddle. Okay, now just finish off. And finally, our jungle cock. A few wraps, then just pull it into position. Now the other side. And finally, we whip finish. And lastly, some head cement. Okay, there's our Phil's wizard. Uh, let's take a moment to look at that wing and throat, and you notice how they stand away from the hook at quite an angle. As I mentioned, you can, can wrap 
up onto the chenille. Uh, that will help uh, push the wing and the throat down. The other thing you could do is when you tie the chenille on, then you proceed to bind down the first wrap, the, the wrap closest to the eye of the hook. You bind that down with thread as much as you possibly can to flatten it down to create a bit of a ramp. That will ease the wing in. It will still stand up at an angle, but it won't be as drastic as this. So those are your three choices. You can leave it as it is here and let that chenille kick the wing and the throat up. You can flatten the, sh the front wrap of the chenille with some thread, or you can just make the head large and just basically take your head right onto the first wrap of the chenille. Whichever way you want to do it, it's your choice. I've basically done this uh, similar to the way it is in the pattern book, but um, you know, I, I offer those other two choices if you don't particularly like it kicked up at that sort of angle. And frankly, I wouldn't go fishing with a fly with wings and throat at that angle either. Anyway, the Phil's Wizard, unusual color scheme uh, with black, red, and white. And I think it probably would be effective, especially for steelhead who seem to like black and red on and white on things. So give it a try, the Phil's Wizard. Cheers.